Channel 7, we are making it our mission to help you get around Metro Detroit. Of course, more than just getting around, we want to make sure you need where you go safely. Earlier this summer, the Wayne County was forced to close several bridges after the seven investigators showed you how those bridges had serious structural concerns. Now, seven investigator Heather Catalo is learning more about the man who was supposed to be inspecting those risky bridges. Many of Wayne County's aging bridges are crumbling. We're at a point of no return. Timothy Drakeford was the man who was responsible for checking many of those bridges, but county and state officials say he wasn't doing the federally required inspections. You'll see large chunks of concrete that are missing. Wayne County Commissioner Glenn Anderson wants answers about all of the county's bridges. It's a big concern. I, I think we all assumed that it, that it was being done because there is money there to do those inspections. In June, after the seven investigators revealed that even the county's own vehicles were not following weight restrictions on the Hines Drive bridges, Wayne County closed them. Drakeford's name is on the inspection sheets for those bridges and others. You'll see the description of the bridge condition looks exactly the same on every two-year inspection on many of the forms. When MDOT pulled um, random bridge inspections and showed us the information, it was beyond a shadow of a doubt that that information didn't reflect the condition of the bridges. Wayne County records show in early 2017, the Federal Highway Administration, which ultimately regulates bridges, warned the state that Wayne County's bridge inspection problems were of major proportions and the county's federal funding for the year was at stake. County records show a meeting with MDOT and county officials revealed that 72 of the county's 232 bridges had not even been inspected at all. So the county fired Timothy Drakeford for falsifying records and neglect of duty. And that's not all they did. Why did the county refer this matter to the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office? We're acting in adherence with the fraud ordinance, and I can't comment any further. Hi, we're looking for Tim. Drakeford wasn't at his construction business when we tried to ask him about this, so I called him. Well, why don't you want to talk to us on camera? Because you did before. Neither Drakeford nor his attorney would agree to an interview, but he told me on the phone that he was instructed by his supervisors at the county to copy and paste the information on those bridge inspections. Drakeford insists he's been warning the county for years about the bad condition of the bridges, but claims they wouldn't listen to him and would not give him the right resources to do his job. The county denies that. It's his job to ensure that that information is accurate and up to date, not just from year to year copied over. The Wayne County prosecutor confirms they do have an active investigation into a former county bridge inspector. Tim Drakeford says he doesn't know anything about that. We have more information about his history with the city of Detroit and the county at WXYZ.com. I'm Heather Catalo, 7 Action News.